Guys, welcome to our erotic tape. Just kidding. <laughs> see, normally that's not happening. Normally in the videos, I have Jill stand way far ahead of me, so you can see the difference in our the size of our heads. <laughs> but they're side by side, and that, okay. <laughs> but they're side by side. That's actually how much bigger my head is normally. Aww, I love your giant melon. <laughs> A lot going on in there. Anyway, guys, we have a very exciting announcement. Do you want to say what it is? No, you can. We're going on a trip together, and we're going to Las Vegas. I'm so excited. I know there's probably a lot of people wondering why it's not a Disney trip. We priced out a lot of options, and we need a trip that's just like cheap, cheerful, hot outside where we can spend time at a pool. And so it came down to Disneyland, Vegas, and an all-inclusive. Disneyland was so much more expensive that it was just like way beyond what we want to spend for like, you know, a cheap and cheerful trip like this one. So we went with Vegas. And we've never been to Vegas before. And also, you weren't being cheap, I was being cheap. <laughs> Don't blame Dan. He's not keeping me from Disney. <laughs> anyway, the uh, we're really excited because neither of us have been to Vegas. <coughs> we don't know anything about like what to do beyond what we've read in guidebooks. So we were hoping that you guys would help us plan our trip. And we'll be vlogging a little bit while we're there so we can share that experience and capture things from like a first timer's point of view because i think vegas is on a lot of people's lists i know it was on mine for a long time and yeah i'm really excited the yeah. only thing we have booked is the bacchanal buffet at caesar's palace which a co-worker told me we had to do dan found the funniest reviews do you want to read one uh, okay yeah my favorite <laughs> one um, so I'm not gonna mention the name who wrote it. Um, yeah, I've been reading the negative reviews because of the best ones because <laughs> of so many of them are just like unreasonable. <laughs> like one star because they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. <laughs> the dessert area was all right, and I was overwhelmed with happiness when I found out they had a crepe area. <laughs> I had to wait a while because the cook and the customer were speaking for a long time. He made his perfect though, so I didn't mind. <laughs> I was just excited to get a delicious crepe. <laughs> Instead, I got a randomly folded, uneven filled crepe. I have no idea why Javier would make mine differently than the woman in front of me. Poor Javier. No. She put him on blast Big in the time. reviews. Crepes are supposed to be filled and folded a certain way, and he failed to do something too simple. Why? No idea. It was my 21st birthday, and all I wanted was a crepe. <laughs> I've never I've never had a crepe mess up in my hometown in LA or even Tokyo. I didn't know you could ruin a crepe. I'm not sure why even Tokyo. I wish you put Tokyo on blast as well. Like, <laughs> Tokyo doesn't know about crepes and they haven't messed it up. I have here. Have you can't get it straight. Get together, have you? Like the guy's just doing his job. You know, like I said, it's 20, 21st birthday. She's probably drunk. You know, she'd want a crepe real bad. To have your made her crepe and not after her lofty expectations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, Dan's been reading these reviews for us <laughs> for like 20 minutes. I don't know. If you guys need a laugh, go to Yelp and look at the uh, reviews. They're pretty good. Like, particularly the one, two, and three star reviews. Yeah, these are the Google reviews, but yeah, the Yelp reviews are generally even better, actually. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let us know where Javier won't mess up our crepe. <laughs> I think Javier is probably doing a fine job. I don't think we should blame Javier for this. Yeah. Javier, if you're watching. We're team Javier. I'm going to get a crepe from you and it's going to be delicious, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm looking forward to it, Javier. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know. We don't know anything about Vegas, so let us know no, your, Javier. your top places to go for food, what your favorite things are to do, if you've seen any of the shows there, what do you love, just know that I don't like seeing people like fold them up like pretz, fold themselves up like pretzels. Like a crepe? Like, <laughs> like a half year full of crepe? <laughs> or like, I don't like seeing people bend in unnatural ways, you know, like that just freaks me out. So, I don't know. That's basically it. Yeah. Yeah. But, let us know what to do. And if you haven't been to Vegas, let us know what you would like us to show you or like talk about in those vlogs. Anyway. And if we can get Javier, 
on the vlog. Oh. Go look, keep an eye out for him. That'd be the ultimate. To redeem himself, give him a chance to uh, yeah. have his say. Oh, I should have filmed from this angle because they look a lot more human. <laughs> look at me. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. Love you, bye though. Like, <laughs> if you dropped a bomb on Coachella right now, there would be no, no one left to sell Fun boxes. <laughs>